Good morning guys, so today is Saturday and I'm bringing my son along with me to work today. He's not here yet, but we're going to Disneyland this week for the whole week and um, I told them if you want to you buy some stuff out there and you know, like spoil yourself, you got to come to work with me and he goes, heck yes, I'm going to work with you this weekend. Before I go and pick him up, I'm going to go get one of my tires patched. That way I don't run into any issues. This spot right here actually <laughs> was the first time I almost got into my first semi-truck accident. I was driving down here like this. There was a pickup truck hauling bins on the side, probably over there by where that black truck is coming. And I seen him, I watched him, I knew he was there. And I'm driving casually, probably the same speed, 50. And all of a sudden he starts making a U-turn literally right here and I have to just slam on my brakes and I seriously got inches away from hitting him. When he realized that my truck was about to hit him, his eyes bugged out of his face. It was crazy. It was it was one of my scariest moments as well. I only had one pallet on me, um, which was a good thing, I guess, because I'm sure if I had more pallets, they probably would have fell. But yeah, that was probably the scariest, one of the scariest moments uh, of being a truck driver. It, it, it sucked. What do you do at that point? You know, you kind of just, Pray to God that nothing happens or that no one gets hurt. If something does happen, you can't control the actions of other people. That's what's scary and that's what I that's why I hate driving sometimes because you can be fine, but the other person on the other side of the road is the one not paying attention that can cost you your life or even their own life. And so it's it's always a scary time when you're driving, honestly. You gotta always be aware. But sometimes even if you are aware, that doesn't always help because the other person might not. Looks like they're fixing this roundabout. Gotta go this way. Yeah, my tire is low. Yeah, that thing is low, low. Damn. So this place I I pull in and then I have they have to stop traffic when I reverse out because it's such a small place that it, it's remember the first time I did it I was like oh how am I gonna do this but it's pretty easy you just it's kind of a little nerve-wracking doing it because all the traffic is stopped everyone's watching you reverse the semi truck and if I don't know it's just nerve-wracking but I'm almost there um, hopefully they're dead and we can get in and out so we're pulling up it's right here Lee's service it's gonna be on my left hand side My girl's cousin's right there. Look at this guy right here. Right? She's gonna laugh at me. <laughs> what up? Alright, let's go get this tire. So that was $119 to get those two tires back. But now I gotta reverse out and then out here like that. They're gonna stop traffic right now. And then we're gonna go pick up this load. Now it's the fun part. Now it's the backing up. I've only done this twice, so I still get pretty nervous to do it. Just gotta turn the wheel that way so my trailer can go that way and I can drive that way.
gonna pick up at Moonlight. So I got one pick up there and then I'm gonna go around and pick up my son. I was gonna go pick him up right after this, but my uncle sent me to go to Moonlight and I'm already in the area, so I don't wanna drive to Dinuba, then come back to Reedley, so. Let's go to this packing house real quick. Okay, so now I just got out of this uh, place, Moonlight. Now I am on my way to, ay, wait, <laughs> fuck. I'm on my way to pick up Michael since he wanted to come to work with me today and it's Saturday, so why not? I finally picked up my son. He's in the truck with me now. He's acting a little shy. He doesn't want to look at the camera. Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but we're going to go to our, our, well, my second, his first pickup. We're going to go to Cutler Rossi. And yeah. Are you excited for today? So why are you coming to work with me? Where? From Disneyland. Yeah. And, and I want to see the Avengers. You want to see the Avengers? Yeah, we're going to go to California Adventure, take them to see the Adventure Campus, all that stuff. But uh, enough about our vacation. It's time to get to work. You hear me? What? <laughs> you want someone to do that to you? Okay. We'll see if someone sees us, okay? We're about seven minutes away from our first pickup. All right, I let him go, but I'm not gonna let you go, my guy. People try taking advantage of you the minute you let someone do the minute you let the minute you do something nice. Guess we gotta come down here. It's like it's a little neighborhood. Railroad drive, so I gotta make a left over here. It's 12 04 right now, so still pretty early. And so far I only have three picks. The go the cool thing about Saturdays is that the box trucks usually help us pick everything else up so like i don't really got to worry about doing too much oh, i thought i was gonna be in here i was like no way i'm going in there they're, they're tripping right here and i was not tripping young man <laughs> where are you going tripping huh where is this place i don't think i've ever been out here i have you have it was a different Yeah. I found it. It's right here. That little brick, brick building over there. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Brick. Uh, it's a ninja star. Look, that's a ninja star. It's a ninja star. <laughs> right, it's right here on the left side. Wildman Bros and Elliot Inc. Right here. You have to turn right and then you just said right. There's one. Oh, okay, never mind. The other one's right there. Michael, so this place doesn't let kids in here, so you're not going to be able to get down, okay? Yeah. They won't let you, buddy. They'll get me in trouble. You can get hurt. By what? By like a forklift or something. So they don't like to have kids in there. Where we come, I said last time he likes to bring his um, toys his toys. He has his WWE ring. He has like three of these rings. No, and I have two. Oh, you have two? I yeah. thought you had three. Because remember, I had the first one and it was this one. And, and then, then he has look at he has all these toys. I'm gonna dump it out, okay? I bring my slime. You brought snacks too? Mm -hmm. Just like he's freaking hungry. Yeah, there's my waters in there. Oh. And he has his little water. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, okay? This one I'm gonna leave out, but I'm gonna put this one in the fridge because I don't want it to, to get gross. Got a soda in there too if you want one, okay? When we eat though, not right now. What's up, bro? Got For us? Really? So I can't pick it up? 
All right, for sure. I don't even know you guys closed this early today. Yeah, bro. I almost missed this pickup. I guess they closed at noon. I had no idea. I was about to drink this water because I brought it for myself. And this little guy back here <laughs> peed in it. I mean, I guess he, I taught him, I taught him how to do that, but boy, I almost drank your pee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna make a U-turn, so I don't have to do it blindside.
finally. The only issue was this. I was scared that I was gonna hit this because I couldn't really see it. And I was scared that I might hit this truck. But I had way, way more than enough space. I got back in. Um, it's my first time ever backing in like this here. So let's go see what kind of pallet they have for us today. This door was gonna be unlocked to just to hit it hard, I guess. Oh. Oh. Nope, I, I don't think it's unlocked. <laughs> So while uh, we get loaded right here at this place, we're gonna come back here and play some WWE for a little bit. Three, two, one. No! I forgot that he has slime on him. Oh my gosh. Where? This one has slime on him? No, this, it was this one. Jump man. No, you ain't gonna take these mans. Hold on, let me put this back. Now we're gonna go get loaded. He's gonna come in here with me so he sees what it's like to get loaded as a truck driver. We're gonna have some some peaches, so you might like some peaches. So we gotta sweep out the trailer. The other video <clears throat> made a TikTok saying that some places won't load us up if it's not clean, and some places are really picky, like like they want it. Super clean. Get, that big one out. get it, just grab it. Okay, buddy, you're gonna stay right here so you don't get hurt. Right there. Don't move, okay? So I'm gonna put it in after they finish loading me. It's gonna be one of the first spots I go to. 